Well, sir, I used to be right smart on his feet when I was a boy down home. Yes, sir, I could cut most any kind of caper on skates. <laughs> Gosh, I could outskate any fella on our pond. Well, I got down here to New York and was looking around, and I see the sign what said skating, and I allowed I'd go in and have a skate. Well, I got on the inside, and fella come up to me, he says, can you skate? I said, well, I calculate is how I can. <laughs> Well, he handed me something that looked like the wheels off a toy wagon nailed onto a board, and boy strapped them on my feet and says, Now, don't forget the skate boy. Well, sir, I allowed I'd just show the city folks some papers, and by gosh, I did. <laughs> First thing I calculated on doing was a two-step, and I done it two steps. That was all. <laughs> Well, sir, that floor was smoother than greased lichen, and them wheels, they was the most uneasy little critters I ever seen in my life. One foot went northeast, and the other went southwest, and I don't know where the west of me went. <laughs> right, I went all over that floor in less than a minute. I done the pigeon wing, the figure eight, and the outside roll, and the inside roll spread eagle as Philadelphia twist all at once. <laughs> then there was a spell I don't remember just what did happen. Well, when I come to and got my sink box to work in again, there was a crowd around me. One had ice water, another one had liniment, another one had some stuff to smell in a bottle, and they got me on my feet and told me to try it over again, but I told them once was enough for me. My ambition was gone, and so was my watch and chain. <laughs> well, I got on the outside, and the first thing that I see was a fella falling all over the sidewalk. And I said to a gentleman, what's the matter with him? He said, well, he's got a skate on it. My guys, I think he did. <laughs>